Let's talk about the difference between a gym and a studio. So gyms are associated with signing up for membership, receiving a membership card or key or access pass and, and doing your own thing. You know, gyms never promise great levels of service. People are often disappointed when they don't receive it, but you know, maybe they shouldn't be. Gyms are, are huge facilities, usually a pretty cost effective membership. The problem is a lot of people don't go. Back in the 90s, the large gyms, the big boxes they were called, you know, 2000 square meters, they were, they lost a lot of market share to the, the budgets, you know, the, those gyms, the 24 seven type gyms with an even cheaper membership. And in the last few years, the boutique studios have seen rapid growth. The boutiques, they're, they're really cost efficient to open up. You can charge a, a premium rate. A lot of people these days prefer to train in a group. That's actually a result of an URSA fitness industry study. 90% of people prefer to train in a group and they're prepared to pay a little more for personal service, better return on investment for the owner and a lot more fulfilling.